DK Drama, Bird Gang Sports. Let's get it. -E Craven LeBlanc, born July 25th, 1994. He also attended Bell Central High School. Now he's 5'11 at 190 pounds. He attended college at Florida Atlantic. Now to be going on his fourth season right now, in this very short time, he's been with four different teams. The New England Patriots, the Chicago Bears, the Detroit Lions, and now the Philadelphia Eagles. Now his career stats are a total of 88 tackles, one sack, one forced fumble, 14 pass deflections, two interceptions, and one defensive touchdown. After going undrafted in 2016, he was later signed to the New England Patriots as a rookie free agent. He made a one-handed interception in the end zone in the preseason game against the New Orleans Saints, which ended up being named the top player of the 2016 preseason. He was later released in September of 2016, the same year. The very next day, he literally was claimed off waivers by the Chicago Bears. Later on that year, in December, he recorded his first official game touchdown against the Detroit Lions, picking off Matthew Stafford and running that for a pick six. So he recorded his first pick six too as well. In September of 2018, he was signed to Detroit's practice squad. And then later, he was promoted into the active roster. But a few months later, they ended up waiving him anyways. In November of 2018, he was claimed off waivers by the one and only, the Philadelphia Eagle. He literally was forced, him alongside a bunch of other guys, were literally forced to jump into that 48-7 loss against New Orleans Saints. That was like, that was their first game. So like, that's, the, everybody knows that's the reason why that game was the way it was. I don't, like, that's why people don't talk about it because we know, we all know, and the haters know too. So, you know, we went on to, we limped our way into the playoffs last season and we beat the Bears in a 15 and 16, well, we beat the Bears in a 16 and 15 victory. And then in a press conference later, Jim Schwartz really praised Cra Craven on how he felt like, you know, he don't know where we would be without him right now because how big he stepped up, you know, in that position where you're just coming in from basically nowhere. As you can see, I gave you the ran down on where he was and basically what he did with those teams. And he was bounced around a lot, four different teams in three years. You see what I'm saying? And he actually feels like that, he was meant to be here like it was a calling for him to be here and he was called upon. And he actually got the most playing time with us and it turned out that he was really getting it in with us, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And when we get back to once we seen the Saints again, it was a bit more of a dog fight. The guys had their reps in. LeBlanc had his reps in. And as we all know, we lost 20 to 14 in that game. But Cravant, Cravant, he... um. Cravant intercepted Drew Brees, the very first player of the game. Do we not remember that? Do we not? I know we seem to talk about Avante Maddox a lot and Razul Douglas, you know, guys like that. I, I truly think Maddox needs to start, though. I do I do think that. And Cravant need to come in there and guard that slot. Uh, I, I, that's, that's just the way I feel, though. Um, but, yeah, don't forget that first – the, the first play of the game, man, straight straight pick. Don't forget it. These young guys biting, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to just just picture me as the calm before the actual storm hit. Now, I, I'm kind of giving you the warning signs. Now, that's basically it on my man, Cravana Blunt, man. Y'all let me know what y'all really think about him maybe having a, a bigger role this year, too, uh, because of how he stepped up last season. He got thrown into the fire. And that devastating loss against the Saints. And he ended up responding to that loss in his own way when he, you know, he picked him off the first play of the game. So he responded kind of to that loss in his own way. All the guys stepped up from when they beat us that bad to the point where we seen him again in the playoffs. So, like, yeah, that, that, that's Cravon LeBlanc, man. Like, do y'all think he should have a bigger role or should we sit back and just see what – the main starters are, are going to do, you know, because uh, at this point, for real, I'm going to be real honest. At this point, we just so deep. I just think we should just give everybody an equal opportunity. I don't even think these guys coming to training camp, that's going to be enough time to to show who's who's proving themselves. I just think we just 
need to rotate him. And there, nobody gets tired. Nobody gets tired during the whole entire game. That's just how we need to work these guys. All of our DBs now, by the vets being out and the, and the youngest coming in and the youngest getting their reps in and they understand the pace and everything of the, of, of, of the NFL right now, I think they'll rally together even more. They'll feed off each other even more. So just throw them in there in and out. But that's just me. I play with them. I keep all my guys, though. I keep them well rested. You know, like that's, to me, that seems like the right thing to do. Just give everybody the opportunity. We got enough. We got a lot of depth. So, and I think if we had, if we rotated everybody like that, that 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 uh, lessens our chances of injury. You see what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, y'all let me know below what y'all think about my man Cravon LeBlanc being he been tossed around like the way he been tossed around. I don't think he really had a solid chance to prove what he can do. But I think he really, he kind of did last year. He kind of showed that if you give him some time, you know, let him get them the real reps in, then he can do just as good as a a, a veteran cornerback can do. But yeah, y'all let me know down and make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe these videos, man. We got to get these Eagle fans on here because a lot of these other fan bases from other teams, they on here. They on here and they, they yapping. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. Just like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you subscribing, man. Like, cause I wanna get, I wanna get to the point where I can like just go live with y'all anytime, anywhere I'm at. Like, cause I be wanting to do that instead of running back here. So yeah, it's your boy DK Drama, Bird Gang Sports, and we out.